Hi everyone, welcome to Physical Science. My name is Debbie Camberans and I will be your instructor in this course. I am very excited to have you in the course and this is a syllabus orientation. This orientation will highlight the critical aspects of the syllabus. Nevertheless, you are to read the course syllabus thoroughly, ensuring that you are aware of the course expectations. So first we're going to look at the instructor's information. The provided instructor's information include includes name, office location, phone number, and email address. So students can call me um, if they have issues in the course, or you can email me um, using my VSU email address. And this is my preferred method of communication in the course. Here is my communication plan. I will respond to email messages within 24 hours, Monday through Friday, and within 48 hours over the weekend. All right, so next we're going to look at the course information. The course number and section is phase 102. The class will meet Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. for classes. Each, sec each session has a duration of 50 minutes. We will meet online synchronously. It means we're going to meet at the same time via Zoom during our scheduled class period. Office hours will be via Zoom and I have provided the Zoom link to each session. So here we have three different times that we meet for office hours. So you can join me on a Monday, um, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. or on Monday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. To join Zoom class meetings, students, um, you can use to join the Zoom class meeting. You can um, use the link that I have provided, and as you can see, I've provided the meeting ID as well as the meeting passcode. So you might be wondering, what is physical science? What is this course about? Here I've provided you a course description. This course provides the foundation to develop an understanding and appreciation for the fundamental laws of nature and the, log and the logical application of these laws to specific scenarios. This introduction to the physical sciences will help to stimulate students' interest in science and to build a solid foundation of general scientific knowledge. Specific topics covered include scientific investigation, analysis of motion, Newton's law, energy, work, heat transfer, waves and sound, electricity, and the chemical elements. Now we're going to look at the required materials and access that you will need in this course. So students in this course must have access to a computer with high speed internet connection as we will be using Blackboard, the learning management system at um, VSU. Students will access course announcements, syllabus, calendar, lectures, homework, assignments, quizzes, and tests on Blackboard. Additionally, the instructor will post grades and feedback via Blackboard, which will allow you to keep on track, to keep, sorry, which will allow you to keep track of your progress as you were during the semester. Furthermore, students must, must have access to VSU student email. 
if students are experiencing troubles regarding accessing VSU emails, Blackboard and other computer related issues, please visit the student help desk. And the physical location is Harris Hall, room 8A, or you can contact them via phone or email. To contact, to contact them via email, it's VSU student help desk at vsu.edu. And if you contact them via phone, it's 804-524-2000. The required textbook in this course is an introduction to physical science. And in this course, we'll be using the 13th or 14th edition of the text. Um, the authors of, of the text are Shipman, Wilson, Higgins, and Torres. Now, to, 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 to add a little flexibility, students can purchase a hard copy or rent a digital version of the textbook. Students can access the e-text at www.redshelf.com. I have provided a quick video of the Red Shelf eText interface and cap capabilities. So notice here, you can click on the link and this will give you um, some of the things that you will be able to do on Red Shelf as you read your book this semester. Another requirement in this course is a scientific calculator. Students are encouraged to purchase one and you're to take it to each class meeting. Now, we've come to a very important um, segment in our syllabus and that is the student learning outcomes. The student learning outcomes are basically the specific skills and attributes that I expect you to master by the time we come to the end of the course. In this course, there are nine learning outcomes and students are encouraged to review carefully, to review them carefully, as these outcomes will be um, aligned with your course learning activities, instructional materials, and assessments. So these are the topics that we'll be covering um, in the course this semester. And I've already outlined these when I went through the, um, the course description. As it relates to communication, um, the instructor will make announcements in class and on Blackboard. The VSU email system is the preferred mode of communication in this course. The instructor will not read emails from personal accounts such as Yahoo, Gmail, and Hotmail. You are to use your VSU email when you are trying to contact your instructor. If you do not know your email address or if you have forgotten your password, you can call the student help desk at 804-524-2000. And you can do this Monday through Friday between 8 a.m to 5 p.m. All right, so now I will take you through the operating procedures in this course. First, we will look at the mode of instruction. So there will be a number of instruction modes that are utilized in this course, including lectures, class discussion, demonstration, and simulation, and student presentation. Um, class attendance is advised. It's actually mandatory, and this is in accordance with VSU attendance policy. And for students who habitually um, are absent from, from the course, at some point in the semester, I will recommend that you withdraw from the course. Class participation is important. 
um, it's very important to your success and um, students are encouraged to, part to participate. So in order to participate, I expect you to read the assign, um, to, to do the assigned readings before you come to, to class. Um, you are to um, make notes of concepts that you're having difficulty with and you're to prepare questions for your instructor. And while we are in class, I expect you to participate in the discussion um, by asking questions and answering questions. Even though our class will be online um, this semester, I expect that you will uphold the academic integrity of the course. Any evidence of copying or cheating may result in a failing grade from this course for all parties involved. Now, um, students are to plan their success and um, the way in which your success is evidence at the end is the type of grade that you get in the class. So I just wanna go over the student evaluation scheme. The, um, there are numerous evaluation schemes in this course. Um, assessments include class participation. And class, partic class participation will account for 15% of your final grade. And then we have homework assignments which will account for 20% of your final grade. Quizzes will account for 20% of your final grade as well. And each semester exam um, is going to account for 6.25% of your grade. Uh, um, you'll do four semester exams, so it will account for 20, uh, an overall 25% um, of your grade. Um, at the end of the semester, we will have a comprehensive final exam. Comprehensive means we will cover all topics. The, the exam will include all topics that was covered this semester. So your final exam will be comprehensive. Take note. Comprehensive means all topics covered during the semester. The final exam will be given on the university schedule day. No student will take the exam before the university schedule day, and there will be no exceptions. All requests for or excuses will be denied. So you must take the final exam on the university schedule day. Um, I, can't, I went through the grade distribution, but we will do it again just so that you can be clear. Class participation is worth 15% of your final grade. Homework and quizzes, 20% each of your final grade. Exams will be 25% of your final grade. And final comprehensive exams will be 20% of your final grade. Here is the grading scale. Students earning 90% or above will get a grade of A in this class. Students, for, students earning a B must score an average of 80 to 89%. Students scoring an, a, a C must have an average of 70 to 79%. Those earning a D must score an average of 60 to 69%. A F, those who score an F will have an average um, that is less than or equal to 59%. Students can calculate their final grade in the course using the, for, um, using the formula that is shown here. Um, you will average your, par your, par your class participation grade and then you will multiply it by 0 0.15. You will average your homework grades and multiply it by 0 0.20. Um, you will average your quiz grade and multiply it by 0 
you will average your semester exam and multiply it by 0 0.25 plus you will average your final exam and multiply it by 0 0.20. The summation of these grades will be your final grade. Um, additionally, at the end of the syllabus, I have provided a tentative schedule for the entire semester. I will announce changes to the schedule via Blackboard announcements or in class. Please make note of the important dates related to the course, such as test dates. And finally, I have included or I have compiled a list of important dates from the fall 2020 academic um, university and course events. Please review this list carefully. Thank you for listening and I will see you on August 17th. Thank you.